today, we are going to be using the technique of value to make our planets look 3D. We are in a mixed media unit. What I want you to notice here is that there's a light source. We know the light is coming from the top right. When it hits the object, that's where you see the light. And then anything behind the object becomes shadow. This is gonna be super important into making our 3D forms look real. Hi, third grade. So last time we were here, we made our space mixed media. So mixed media means we're combining different things together. So for instance, here I used a white crayon first and I drew all my stars and then I went over it with watercolor. And because crayon is wax, it resists. The watercolor paint rejects it. And so I can still see all of those cool designs. I also use Sharpie because I know that Sharpie won't wash away. If you did not create one of these, you have the option of going back and adding your watercolor and making your galaxy background today. Um, but what could be easier is if I just give you a black piece of paper and you can do your planets and stuff on top of it. So hopefully you picked up your work and this shorter little piece of paper. Give me a thumbs up when you have both of those items. We're gonna be starting off with the simple shape of a circle, but what actual 3D shape are planets in our solar system? We are a sphere, and then the lamp represents the sun hitting our earth with light. So you guys are gonna be using oil pastel. We're gonna be doing one together, and then you guys get to decide um, how you want your other planets. What I want you guys to do is you guys are going to see some oil pastel trays on your table. This might be in a little box. I want you just to choose one color that you want to start with for your first practice planet. Do not want to choose black or white as your color for your planet. We're going to be using this to create the shadow. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move this out of the way so I don't mess it up. But I'm going to draw a simple circle. You don't want to make it too big because this is your practice. You might want to include other planets over here if you decide you messed up. So somewhere on your paper, you're gonna draw a circle. Give me a thumbs up once you've done that. Now, obviously your circle is not gonna be perfect. We are not computers, but I want you just to try your best to color in the whole thing. Hold this lightly and I just push very lightly. Try to keep the wrapper on, that, that stops your hands from getting all messy. If the wrapper falls off, oh well. But go ahead and color the whole thing Try not to leave any little white marks if you can go back. So I'll probably give you all about two minutes just to go ahead and color in your planet. And then we're going to do some tricks to make it look 3D. All right. So I did the best I could. I have some little marks, but this is practice. So whatever. All right. Now I'm going to show you how you can make your planets look 3D. So first you have to decide where is your light coming from? When light hits a planet or an object that is 3D, you're gonna see a side that's lighter and then a side that's darker from the shadow. So I'm gonna decide right now, I think I'm gonna put the highlight on the left and then I'm gonna put a shadow on the right. So this will make more sense once you guys try it. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of dark. I'm just gonna trace a C on this right side of the shape. And you're probably thinking, Mr. Belfort, that doesn't look anything like a 3D planet. Well, this is where your finger will come into play. You're going to use your finger to blend it. So I'm going to go back and forth. I'm doing just little circles. And what are you seeing starting to happen? You're seeing shadow. And yes, this is really messy. And it gets all these little crazies. You can go back and add more if you want. So I'm taking that C on the right side or whatever side you choose and I'm blending it over. And as I blend it, it starts to look real, which is pretty cool. Go ahead and do a C. Just basically outline one half of your planet and give me a thumbs up. All right. Next up, you're going to take one of these white oil pastels and you're going to do the same thing. This one is going to be a little bit less noticeable but I'm going back and forth and doing a really nice C. This time you don't have to blend it out. You probably don't wanna blend it out because your finger already got dirty, but you can see that one side is a little bit brighter. Now, if you don't like how this turned out, you can always, of course, um, try again, but I wanna give you the rest of this paper, and if you need more paper, to make as many planets as you want. We're gonna cut these out and place them in our solar system. 
Here is a time lapse of me working. What I want you to notice here is that I'm adding stripes, little dots on my planets, because planets are not always one color. So feel free to add those details if you wish. You can get really creative with this. I made an earth. Don't forget to color the whole thing. Add one side to be your shadow and one side to be your highlight. I keep it on the same sides as the previous planets just to keep it easier for me so I can remember, oh, my shadow's on the right, my highlight's on the left. You are going to be cutting these out and placing them inside your universe. So you might want to keep it easy and just kind of help yourself organize. Don't forget to go back and blend in that shadow. You can even go back in and add some more details like clouds. You can even take that same color that you use for the planet and blend that into the black if you really want this seamless, smooth blend. You do not have to make all of your plants the same size. In fact, I don't want you to. It makes the image way more interesting if you have plants of different size. Um, one thing I want to mention is your hands will get dirty. We have our Huggies Wet Wipes, which will work to get the um, junk off your hands. But feel free to be as creative as you want. I did a ring around my planet. Do you want to make asteroids? I'm going to put little craters on here. Mix colors. Truly, the sky is the limit with oil pastel. And if you hate it, then just don't cut it out. Because now I'm going to show you what you can do to cut these out, glue them on. And then, of course, we're going to get a picture for our portfolio. So let me show you some of that. You're going to ask me, should I use stick glue or liquid glue? I would say liquid glue. And you're going to see why in a moment. What you're going to do is you're going to cut out your planets. And what's good about that is you can cut off all the little mistakes. You don't have to include that. So as I'm cutting, I'm cutting off those extra areas and look that makes it look so clean like I meant for everything to be there I went ahead and cut out my pieces I'm ready to glue you want to be careful and not smudge them because just one wrong kind of picking this up wrong could leave a fingerprint where you don't want it of course you'll just take the glue open it of course give it a few shakes and then you're gonna have to decide how you want to spread out your composition where should certain planets go I'm gonna put the earth kind of close to the center. I'm making sure that the shadow is on the right, the highlight is on the left because that's what I decided to do. So I can't have this planet over here. That wouldn't make sense for there to be a shadow over here and a shadow over here. You wanna turn it so that the light source is hitting it from the correct angle. I don't think that this one should go here because it blends right in. It would look better up here where you can actually see it. Just give it a little bit of glue, touch it and done. This planet would go good over here. Just make sure that the shadow is on the correct side. That pretty much gives me a good composition. It's interesting. If you have more paper, feel free to make more planets. If you run out of paper, feel free to get another one of these. When you're done, please make sure that all the oil pastels are put back into either this tray or the basket on your table. On the drying rack because we are going to be taking this home. Remember, in order there are two different ways you can find your portfolio. You can swipe up on the screen and just type in art, A-R-T, but if that's too intense for you, you can also just go to classwork and at the very top it says your portfolio and you're going to go ahead and open that portfolio when you are ready. Slide 47 today and I'll write that on the board so you don't forget. You need to have a photo of your image. This is going to be the last image we're going to add to our portfolio this year. Isn't that crazy? Insert a picture of it, press insert. Probably want to make it a little bit bigger. You can also go to format options. And what you can do is you can adjust this, make it a little bit brighter. I like to bump up the contrast a lot because that makes your dark darks look really good and then your lights look really popping. I'll put this right in the middle. Feel free to mess with the background. I just click on the background, click background again, image. And then you can do a Google image search. I like to do space. And now my background is space. Once you've done that, you can actually take this home today. I'm really proud of all the work that you've done. Star really messed up our schedule. We were supposed to have another day to work on this, but you know what? We're just gonna end this today. And then if I see you next time, we'll probably play some Kahoot and have some fun. But we are taking home everything. So I might be passing back some artwork. Like I said, if your hands are dirty, make sure you clean them. Don't forget to upload to your portfolio. One last piece of advice for you. So I heard that when I archive our class that you might lose your portfolio. I don't want you to lose it forever. So at some point, either today 
or sometime soon, you'll want to go to File, Make a Copy, Entire Presentation, and that way you can get a copy of your portfolio and you don't have to worry about this getting deleted. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'm excited to see your amazing space compositions and have a good one.